Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the Brand Summit by Agency Growth Events. For the two days ahead, we'll be talking about the challenges that face brands today in the world of marketing. We'll touch issues like purpose, community, strategy, future of events, and most importantly, growth, and how all these different factors factor into the growth of a brand or of a company. As per usual, our short and sharp content sessions will be interlaced with networking breaks, so I'll allow for you to grow your personal network and uh, form new business connections. So to kick off the Brand Summit, without further ado, allow me to uh, invite the first speakers for the first session of the day. Uh, we will be joined by the founders of Purpose Fuse. Hello there, can you guys hear me? Mark and Neil? How are you doing, Barish? Yes. Hi. Very well. great. Great, great to have you guys on. Uh, according to your website, Purpose sits at the intersection of uh, what we're best at, what we love, what drives our business and our impact on the world. I'm looking forward to hearing about how this can really uh, unlock uh, growth uh, for companies out there. So over to you guys. Thank you so much for uh, joining us today. Yeah, thanks. Happy to be here. <laughs> thanks so much. Um, yeah, big thanks, Barris and um, Agop and, and the whole team um, at Agency Growth Events. I really appreciate you guys pulling together this, um, you know, innovative virtual network, networking opportunity for us. Um, and as you can see from the screen, I'm really excited to be presenting about the personality of purpose, um, which we view as the real magic that drives sustainable brand growth and impact. Uh, my name is Mark Griffin. I'm one of uh, a team of two founding partners alongside Neil Turnham, um, who you'll hear from a little bit later uh, from Purpose Fused. Um, and we act as a magnet between brands and people, the people on the inside of the companies who bring brands to life. So in essence, fusing together brands and culture, strategy and impact, uh, people and performance, um, using purpose as the catalyst at the core. So when we think about the personality of purpose, if we look at a couple of simple definitions, um, personality obviously being a combination of our characteristics and qualities that uniquely form us um, on our own distinctive character and purpose being the reason we exist. How do we draw on our unique qualities at our best to deliver meaningful positive impact in the world? So purpose in essence is the fusion of your personality and your passions applied for good. And it's the same for your brand. So personal, uh, purpose uh, obviously isn't new to marketing. In fact, you could argue marketing has elevated purpose to become a pretty mainstream tool uh, for brands to position themselves as caring in a crazy world. And you'll all be familiar, I'm sure, with a number of these statistics that back this up. I bet 90% of them you've probably seen before. But purpose has so much more to offer. As we mentioned, our purpose is to use purpose to unlock people's potential to optimize their performance and impact. And the reason for that is simple, because purpose is about people. We believe that most future fit companies are those who support their people in being the best authentic version of themselves and further, that for the most effective and stable way for people to operate at their best is for them to live and lead with purpose. So if we rewind way back, as far back as Aristotle, we can look at purpose and the definition always having been an inside out self-reflection starting with know thyself. We may have a great understanding of the personas out in the market, but how well do we know the people on the inside of our company who bring our brands to life, make it a reality? How well do we know ourselves? When we think about our people, what do they care about and believe in? When are they at their best? And what do they enjoy doing the most? What impact do they want to have and leave on the world? How do these characteristics best overlap with your brand promise? and how can we optimize the intersection between them? A McKinsey survey published in April this year showed that 70% of managers and employees expected their work to define their sense of purpose, and yet only 15% were getting to live their purpose at work. People were able to live their purpose 
and especially those operating at the intersection between the company and their individual purpose demonstrated higher energy, satisfaction, engagement, achievement, connection, excitement, being some of 11 plus outcomes. So to supercharge your brand and sustain its long-term value and growth, start with boosting the people who enable it to exist by filling them up and not squeezing them dry. We propose a three-step process for this. We call it acting with purpose. Aspire, calibrate, and transform. And I'm gonna just run through each of these quickly. In the Aspire phase, something many of you be familiar with, Starting with organisational and brand purpose, putting purpose at the core of the brand promise, but also people's aspirations at the core of the purpose discovery process. Taking a cross section of stakeholders through the brand purpose discovery process, we use an amended version of the Japanese model of Ikigai to answer four simple questions. What can we be best at? What are our collective strengths and thus the characteristics that we need our brand to exhibit and demonstrate, compete where we can win? What do we love? What do we care about? What do we believe in? What do we enjoy the most? What impact do we want to have that will do some good in the world? And of course, fourth and largely not last, of course, um, what drives our profit? The central overlap between all of these four things essentially is the brand purpose. And we put purpose as the foundational component to the brand promise. And we use a framework which we've adapted to call a one-page purpose game plan. The number one reason for using the game plan is that purpose can't be delivered in a vacuum. The game plan exists so that purpose can be the why the brand exists, but has to be accompanied by where we want the brand to get to, what milestones we want it to achieve along the way, and how we're gonna bring it to life through people. So more specifically, the where represents the aspirational dream, defining what a better world looks like as a result of the brand having been in it, essentially the brand's vision statement, plus some specific impact that the brand will make in the world. The what demonstrates your brand ambitions, three stretch but achievable milestones for the brand to strive towards and demonstrate its purpose over the next three years. And the how, is both the principles, i.e. the behaviours that bring the values of the brand to life through the people, and the focus. What are the things that you guys keep front of mind every day to promote that brand promise? Now, so far, as marketers, brands, agencies, this may seem like a pretty standard approach. But it's the next step and all those that follow that, in our opinion, is where so much value is left on the table. The next step is to rinse and repeat this same process with a leadership group. Who's the top team that has to drive forward the brand success? They may be leading multiple brands, so what individually and collectively are their passions, their strengths? What's their desired impact? Where can they contribute best to advance the brand and how do they best work together when they need to to do that? The outcome of the leadership facilitation process results in the same one page purpose game plan, both individually and for the team, explaining their shared purpose and how they are gonna bring the brand promise to life. Using this game plan makes it easy to identify synergies, obvious areas of strengths and passions, and specific gaps that may need to be filled. So now we've got a brand game plan and a leadership game plan. It's time to assess those against the current reality across our stakeholder ecosystem. This is where we calibrate. We engage as many stakeholders as feasible that would determine the brand's success in the market, including employees involved at every level. Through a series of surveys, interviews and focus groups, we'd identify a dashboard of what needs to change for the brand to realise its potential. Strategy, culture, people, priorities, process partners, Look at each of these areas of the ecosystem with regard to three A's. It's authenticity to the purpose. It's alignment to the promise. And it's ability to advance forward the potential. That is the purposeful brand impact. Finally, transform. This is where the rubber meets the road and this is all about the people. 
We start by asking four simple questions here across every team involved with the brand as part of a program we call Three Whys. Why the brand? Why me? Why us? And so what? Why the brand is all about the outcomes from the Ikigai model. Everything that is the essence of the brand and the brand purpose. Why me is what do I uniquely bring to the table? What are my strengths and qualities that I use to support the team and bring this brand to life? Why us as a team, collective strengths, collective passions, collective beliefs, how can we best play together to elevate the brand success? And so what? What are the commitments that I can make to the team and the team can make to me to support each other's performance and elevate the brand promise? This process helps ensure that we have the right people working on the right brands in the right ways. And that we build a sense of connection, belonging and community. We increase cohesion through shared passions, support and accountability. And that we optimise commitment through each person and the team clearly understanding how their contribution enables the brand to achieve its potential. This is a personality of purpose. We then work with leaders simultaneously to develop leaders so that they can lead with purpose, bringing those one page purpose game plans off the page to life. According to EY, the number one reason why purpose driven initiatives fail is because leaders are not developed and supported to lead with purpose. Based upon their purpose game plans, leaders should be able to demonstrate their intention to strive towards their own impact in addition to that of the brand their inspiration to share their own passions and inspire others to share their passions, and the integrity to follow their purpose and to engage and empower others to do the same. That is the true power of shared purpose. So in conclusion, an outperforming brand will demonstrate the real magic that drives sustainable brand growth and impact through the personality of purpose. Purpose has to be a living, breathing thing. It exists through people's experiences, their behaviours, their interactions, their ambitions. It builds upon a common sense of humanity for groups of people who care about the same impact. And it gauges those people's passions to contribute towards their collective impact. We may know our brand inside out, but how well do we know our people? How well do we know ourselves? For the brand to outperform in the market, where we all have the same access to information, can purchase the same technology to supercharge our marketing insights, analytics, positioning and engagement, the primary differentiator will be purpose-driven people. That means considering this three-step process. Aspire to unlock your brand's potential by discovering brand promise from inside out, not just outside in intentionally identifying the intersections between leadership and brand purpose. Calibrate those game plans against the current reality. What can you improve to increase your brand potential and performance? And finally, transform, empower and inspire your leaders and teams supporting the brands to ignite and unleash their passions to contribute towards the impact they all want to see in the world. So they can operate within the shared purpose between themselves, their team, and the brand. Now that's a brand I wouldn't want to compete with because that's a brand powered by the personal, personality of purpose. Thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure to be with you here today from Purpose Fused, and uh, we hope everybody enjoys the summit. Thank you so much, uh, Mark, for uh, the pr presentation. I've taken a lot of notes, actually. And I really uh, love the link between uh, having uh, your own personal purpose uh, and then the brand's purpose uh, aligned. So let me switch uh, to, to Neil for a second. Neil, he, because you come from the people side of business and you've been at uh, HR uh, organizations uh, for your, in, in most of your career. Can you tell us uh, what are the, uh, let's say, uh, key success factors of defining purpose and making a reality in an organization yeah okay um i think the most important thing to think about up front is we've got to move purpose from being on a page or being on a website through an inside out process as mark was saying so what is it that our people and our leaders need to do so that purpose plays a key role actually in 
the organization in terms of driving it forward so sure there's been the definition process that mark's talked about and how that's sort of arrived at and the discovery of of, of that process but i think probably the the there's three or four key things that need to happen in in order if you like from the leaders um and all of this needs to be done authentically so without that authenticity it's going to get seen through so first of all it needs to be believed you know as a leader you need to believe it you need to believe the purpose um and believe the process that you've gone through in order to discover it um second i'd say you need to share it so actively talk about it actively you know in, in, in not only embrace it but in, integrate it into your organization don't just stick it on a poster and tell everyone that's their purpose they've got to remember it um it's something that you've got to really demonstrate on an ongoing basis um when, when you're leading your organization or your or your functional team i think the, the the final part which i've kind of mentioned there is you've got to live it so don't do it some of the time don't remember your purpose and do it in spits and spats you know it's something that you've got to you know live by and lead by every moment when you show up um and like i say it's got to be authentically sort of delivered well, thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> we are running out of time, but I'm just asking one more question to both of you. I mean, uh, okay. uh, I'm, in, in your experience, what is the biggest mistake a leader can make or what makes it go wrong? What what, what makes the uh, wheels fall off in this uh, process so that we avoid it? Yeah. Do as I say, not as I do mentality. Hmm. Yeah. Here it is. This is your purpose. Make sure you guys are doing this. This mm -hmm. is how we're going to run the organization. While I don't demonstrate it yourself mm -hmm. yeah. okay believe live it, it yourself give it. live it to give, give it. it to give it yeah there give you go. it to give it. fantastic <laughs> so this is this is the strap line that will remember you guys by thank you so much for being with us uh and uh, uh with that well thank you so much and uh with that we're gonna uh, go to our first uh, networking break of the day uh we have our quick fire the first uh, quick fire networking session coming up right now uh after that uh, we'll be back with uh, the second session of the day thank you so much and hope you enjoy your networking break